Hi everyone, my name is Jaron Kligman, the official voice of the Toronto Junior Canadians, and this is our playoff preview. Well, the Junior Canadians set the record for the most wins in a regular season, and now it is time to start out against the Oakville Blades for the first round of the Buckland Cup playoffs. 3.6 goals per game for the Oakville Blades this year compared to 3.78 goals per game for your Toronto Junior Canadians. So as we can see in that category, the goal differential is very similar. Another statistic to run by you is the power play. Now the power play for the Oakville Blades at 17.5% compared to the Junior Canadians 13%. So Blades have the advantage in the power play category. And looking back on the penalty kill side, 88.3% for the Oakville Blades, the Toronto Junior Canadians at 84%. So special teams is going to be key, and as I run through the player profiles in a second, we will see why that is important. One more statistic to run by you is the penalty in minutes average, 18.88 penalty in minutes for the Blades this season compared to 16, 15.86 for the Toronto Junior Canadians. It will be a chippy series, folks, and as we've seen throughout the entire season, the Canadians, when they are outmatched physically, it can get pretty rough around the edges. The Toronto Junior Canadians finished fifth in fifth place in the Southwest Conference this season, and here are four key players heading in to the first round against the Oakville Blades. Jack McBain, Jake Joffe, Braden Sampson, and your X Factor is Jason Pinio. Jack McBain, what can we say about him? A projected late first to early second round pick. This series is going to be the test for Jack McBain. He has to know that he's going to be swarmed by the Oakville Blades defense corps, but he cannot be discouraged and try to use his teammates. He's got incredible vision. One of the best passers in the Ontario Junior Hockey League, and that is what he's going to have to do for the Canadians to be successful. Jake Joffe, Dangle City Mayor, and a Dipsy Doodle Dangler at that. One of the best and a great sharp shooter as well. He must continue his consistency. He has put up 1.28 points per game this season. Consistency is key, especially in the playoffs. When you go seven games, you need the same player playing night in and night out. Braden Sampson, defenseman, the quarterback of the defense core for the Junior Canadians, one of the veterans in his final OJHL season. Sampson, a former Oakville Blade, knows the Blades very well. And finally, your X Factor, Jason Pinio, one of the scariest guys to play against in the Ontario Junior Hockey League. He's got a com combination of size, strength, skill, and he also has so much knowledge on the ice. If he's playing at 100%, the Blades are going to be scared. You can't play good defense if you're scared to the people coming behind you, and Jason Pinio is one of the reasons why the Canadians have one of the strongest forechecks. The Oakville Blades finished in fourth place in the Southwest Conference. Here are their four key players to watch out for in this series. Thomas Maya, short-handed nemesis. Canadians need to watch out for him for short-handed rushes. Callum Jones, an emphatic yeller on the ice. His vocal presence is always noted, but he can mix it up physically if he needs to. Matthew Kellenberger, a veteran defenseman, not afraid to jump up into the rush. Canadians need to be wary of him throughout the entire series. And finally, Chris Elliott, 2-1 against the Canadians this year, 1.68 goals against average. We know how a goalie can swing the series. Canadians need to fire a lot of shots against him. The margin of victory at most in each of these games that the Blades and Canadians have played has been three goals. So it's gonna be a very conservative series. The physical team is gonna come out on top. And the reason I say this is because you can always win a game when you play more physical, but physicality also means discipline. The team with the better power play will come out on top in this series. For both the Canadians and Blades, it's key that they remain disciplined, remain ready to go in each game game. However, the Canadians and Blades should be a tough series, folks. It's going to be a pleasure to watch and a pleasure to announce.